one. Hi, it's me. Uh, I'm Isle, and I did a remix reality called Deal or No Deal. Um, I'm just going to read you the uh, rules of the game, because they mention specific cards that will be justified through that mention. Uh, so, how to play. Choose a deal that has been currently submitted via the reality game and start a conversation with one of the individuals who is involved in that deal. You must make a conversation that go in the direction of the deal without them knowing. Those arrows that correct cards, they create your path. That's the first rule, and so each pink card is 20 points, unless it's one of those cards that no one can define or recognize. So that includes a Menagerie, Elusive Quarry, Laszlo Kovacs, or any other ones that I don't have. Those three are in here, and essentially those are weird cards that no one knows. So let's take that as justification. Um, our weird, cool cards, they also count for... Um, 25 points, oh, the extra ones are 25, so it mentions the reality committee, a clever quip, subculture, the outer regions of space, plastic surgery, a hallucination, or a piano, the 25 points, because I fancy those cards. Um, you get double the points if you actually perform or create the card in the conversation, because we all know that spawning the collapse of civilization is a lot harder than actually talking about it. Um, <laughs> and our cards are worth for 10 points, because FCA is superior. Uh, green counts don't count for anything unless they're not strange or not English or outside the context of your major, like um, Korta, Metrogram, Ecstatic Truth, and Derive. I probably said that wrong. Don't judge me. Are worth five points. If you're an animation major and you're doing something like a manifesto, you get ten points. If you're writing major and you do something like a card game, you get ten points. So, like, going out of your box, you get awarded for. Um, you get 20 points when you bring up the people attached in the orange cards. It becomes 30 if you compliment them, 10 if you diss them. So we be nice, but not too nice. Um, and so 50 points are awarded if Drew Casper is mentioned. So that's equal footing. He's included in this. Um, and so when a dead end, re end is reached or players are unable to bring up one or more of the cards in the deal, a turn is done. The goal is to get more points or embarrass yourself more than your friends. Um, and there are multiple ways to win the game. So one is if a player gets found out that the conversation has to do with something or that it's weird, the other player wins. Um, the person with the most points after two conversations wins. The person being spoke to, if someone spoke, if the person you're speaking to asks you out, that player wins because you just got a date. Um, if the non-player begins screaming at any point of the conversation, uh, the person playing wins because you've evoked an emotion and we're supposed to evoke emotions. Um, if a kiss of any kind is used in the conversation, anyone involved in it will win. Uh, and the player is able to get someone else to give them their cards, they win. So, pretty simple and such. So I'll just try to go through it. Emotional disconnect. You have to emotionally disconnect yourself from the fact that you know these people and you're lying to them, essentially. Um, the quest is to make a conversation. Uh, a false assumption is that a deal is just a deal. No, it's a conversation starter. It's a symbol of hope for those who have no social life, and it's a way to talk to people. Pride you to give up your pride and say stupid, stupid things. The whole game is a series of clever quips. The sneak attack would be the kiss if you got it. Um, insubordination, refusal to just play reality one way. We're going to be different here. Um, a band of outsiders. You have to talk to a band of outsiders because you can only play with people in a deal you're not involved in. So, people you don't know. A tower is the challenge of making the conversation work and not getting found out. DIY, making your own conversation and making your own game. Uh, Search for freedom, you have to try to get out of it and not get found out. Uh, menagerie is one of those wild weird cards. Uh, a compass, the deals are the compass. A piano is a weird card. A successor, you're, t you're the successor of someone else's um, deal and making it a conversation. Transformation, you're transforming a deal into a conversation. It's about women, because women are involved in the game, and women are awesome. Uh, a subculture is another weird card that's been included. Laszlo Kovacs, weird card. Um, the Regions Out of Space, weird card. Paradox, weird card. Age and youth, so bringing up Drew Casper would involve age and youth, because bringing up someone relatively older than you are. And a hallucination is also a weird card. So that's that.